Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, just a while back, I was having a discussion with a colleague of mine and the poor fellow was very frustrated. I mean, he had just passed like uh, a certification which he thought would give him like the edge in his job and that wasn't happening. And he was also applying to jobs and like he was not getting the amount of uh, like, uh, what do you call feedback from the industry that he wanted. And I told him, you know, the industry is tough right now. The market industry stuff but he said something which really stuck with me and he said no i'm gonna do this certification i think this certification is the one which will make me stand apart and i do i'm gonna summarize in this video what i told him also which is that you know this mistake that people make that they thought think this certification is gonna give me that magical job which i'm looking for in cyber security but and that's not true right and i want to talk about why keep on keeping on doing certification after certification is not enough to land you a job within cyber security and what you can do instead to really get a value out of your uh, certification instead of just wasting money you know and be it any certification be it, be it the cssp the csa the cism aws azure whatever you're talking about how you can get actual value uh, from that certification so if you're new to the channel my name is tamurish lal I'm a senior security consultant with AWS. I've been in cybersecurity for around 20 years and I made this channel as a way of giving back to the cybersecurity industry and, you know, giving whatever advice I can. So please do like and subscribe to this channel and let's get started. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about now. And if you watch my channel, you know, I've talked about certifications quite a bit, you know, like cloud security certifications, cybersecurity certifications. So a lot of people sometimes tell me that, uh, what's your problem with certifications? I have absolutely no problem with certifications. I think they're awesome. They're a great way to validate your and baseline your knowledge. The problem comes when you think of them as a silver bullet, like some magical thing that if I have a certification, I'm gonna, that's guaranteeing me a job. And this also leads to frustration. And then what happens is you think, okay, I did the wrong cert. I should have done that cert and that cert. And you keep on doing and you keep on wasting money and time. And instead, you should be focusing on other things. And what also happens is people use certifications as a crutch. Instead of focusing on the things which will, which are difficult, they think that I am, you know, doing something by doing certification after certification. So this is really what I want to focus on. So why, when can certification can actually hurt your career? You know, these are the things. So they are absolutely awesome. But if you do these things, believe me, they will harm your career. Like I talked about, you're stacking them out without applying the knowledge. So you do one cert, then you say, I'm going to do that cert and that cert, and you're not applying any knowledge. And if you do not apply that knowledge, believe me, you will forget about it within two, one or two months. When you think that they are replacing hands-on work, if you do a certification, you have nothing, no project to show for it. You are no different from the like 10,000 other people who are applying for the same job with the same cert. And the other thing is very important. Some people do certifications because they don't want to focus on their actual problems. You know, the communication, maybe they don't know how to write or to communicate. They don't know how to teamwork, how to lead. And instead of focusing on that, they think I'll just keep on doing a cert every year. And they think that, you know, uh, this is actual progress. I'm moving along in my career. I'm keeping myself upskilled. No, you're not. You're just doing cert. You've become a certification factory, you know when you assume that they guarantee you a job. So like I said, I've, and I've said this many times before, like I did my CSSP in 2005, like that's, uh, wow, man, I'm really old. I just realized like 20 years ago in 2005. And at that time, there were just a handful of CSSPs in my country. I was able to, I was getting job offers like literally the next week when I did the CSA and then the CISSP because so much demand was there that that world does not exist anymore. Now, every other person in cybersecurity has got a certification. OK, so you cannot assume that they will guarantee your job. They are a good baseline. They show that you have the minimum baseline. They do not guarantee you a job unless you do. You supplement that with other stuff. So certifications are like a springboard, not a safety net. So if you think that but just by doing search, you are safe. This will be a big problem for you. And lastly, they should amplify your skills, not hide your gaps. Like I said, people look at certifications as a, like as a way to hide behind them and not focus on the actual work which will help them in their career because that work is scary and it's hard, you know, focusing on your communication, focus on your writing, focusing on your leadership skills, getting hands on. They don't want to do that. They just want to keep on doing cert after cert. So the most common certification mistake I've always seen, pass one cert, and they want to jump right into the next one. Why? Because it feels like, you know, that you're doing something. You feel, oh, I've done the CSSP. I'm going to do the CISM or the CRISC or whatever. 
but if you are not applying what you've learned you are like you said just starting stacking paper you're wasting money and you're wasting time you're not focusing on your skills so what should you do now that i've talked about what to do instead you know what are the areas you should focus on so first of all once you pass a certification you should apply the knowledge that you have learned so put your knowledge to work now so what you do is you take that knowledge that you learned and then you apply it in the actual life so, so for example you pass the cssp what's the thing you should do you should lead a risk assessment at work do an actual risk assessment apply that concepts maybe you got the security plus right configure a home lab and then try to secure it maybe you got the ccsp the certified cloud security professional then do something with aws security hub or azure or whatever like whichever cloud environment you like please apply that in a actual environment why because if you do not apply that knowledge like i said you will forget it your skills will persist when you use them so please apply the knowledge that was present in that certification before you do anything else and coming from that only you should go deeper so certifications you know they give you breath they cover a variety of topics without going too deep in it most certifications like the cssp you've seen it's like one inch deep and one mile wide they they say that quite a bit why, why is that because it doesn't go deep into a particular topic pick one or two topics from your certs and then focus on it for example i'll give you one example uh, for mine like once i passed the aws security certification i actually like applied the iam concepts that i learned and i created an like a least privilege iam policy for a cloud environment uh, and i did like automation why because i wanted to apply that knowledge instead of just forgetting about it or i passed it that cert has no value then uh, and a great way of you know building upon that knowledge the best way if you want to make sure that you do not forget something is to teach it and I, I i cannot stress you how many times and it, it doesn't mean standing in front of like a thousand people and speaking okay maybe you can write a blog post publish it on medium or substack or whatever newsletter you like maybe make a small video put it on tiktok or youtube like this maybe you can do a lunch and learn for your team you know so when you teach you are reinforcing your own understanding and then you within your industry you're creating this brand or within your own company you know that this person knows this particular topic this is one of the best ways to actually master a particular topic and number four is leveling up your soft skills so you now you know this believe me when you say that uh, why people do not land interviews most of the time it is not because of their technical skills it is because their soft skills are not good their communication so technical skills it might lead you the interview but soft skills will actually get you in the door and get you in front of the hiring manager and get you hired also so please practice presenting leading small projects and explaining this to non-technical stakeholders these three things believe me uh, this is where i've seen a lot of people uh, fail within cyber security people who have like 10 15 certifications on their profile but they cannot de do th these three things which is presentation projects and explaining risks so the, what is the bottom line like i've said many many times before i have no issue with certifications but it is when people misuse them so they are awesome tools but they only create opportunities like okay now you have the baseline what do you do with it do not just treat certifications as paper stacks apply the knowledge within it you know get hands-on share it teach it create that impact and then you will see that actual success coming in from your certification instead of it just being and then you're frustrated later on that hey no i'm not getting the job which i wanted do these things and then i can guarantee you you will see a much better like you'll get a much better return on investment from your certification so i hope this was useful to you please do like and subscribe to this channel thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video